Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. If you're Muslim, I have a question for you. And if you're not Muslim, then this video doesn't apply to you. You can go ahead and scroll away. If you're Muslim, when it's your bedtime, how do you go to sleep? Put in the comment. I'm just curious. A lot of people these days, they go to sleep using their phone. They're scrolling they're on their phone and scrolling and they just fall asleep. But this is not part of Islam. The Prophet ﷺ gave us specific instructions when we go to sleep. Uh, like many other instructions. We have so many instructions for whatever we do, the way we eat, the way we walk, uh, the way we use the bathroom, the way we take a shower, and so many other things. There's specific directives and instructions from the Prophet ﷺ. It's part of the Sunnah when the person goes to sleep, first of all, they need to read the three Qul. Qul huwa Allahu Ahad three times. Qul bil falaq three times. Qul bil nas three times. And each time you take your hands, I'm holding my phone here. Okay, you take your hands together like this. You read Qul huwa Allahu Ahad, Allahu Samad until you finish then you blow then you wipe it all over your body second time you do the same thing all the way blow when you finish wipe all over your body three times same thing same thing and you wipe it over your body this is only step one the other thing that is also part of the sunnah to the prophet recommended that we read the Surah Al Kafirun, we read that. We read the biggest ayah in the Quran, Ayatul Kursi, and then we read the last two ayahs of Surah Al Baqarah. Amen al Rasul bima zila ilahim rabbihi wal mu'minun, and la yukallifu Allahu nafsan illa wusaha. These two ayahs, last two ayahs of Surah Al Baqarah. Also, the main important thing is Surah Al Mulk. Tabarak al ladhi biyadihi al mulk wa ala kulli shayin qadir. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Whoever reads Surah Al-Mulk every night at bedtime, Allah is going to save him from the punishment of the grave. Okay, Allah is going to save him from the troubles and the punishment of the grave. So all this will take you 5 to 10 minutes. That's less than 1% of your whole day, of your 24-hour day. You do so many things. You spend 30 minutes eating maybe a few hours eating throughout the day, few meals, and so many, so much time on different things. Why can't you take 10 minutes and read all this? Even 15 minutes, it's worth it. Believe me, it's thousand times worth it. Take five to 10 minutes, read قُلْ وَاللَّهُ أَحَدْ قُلْ عَلْبَابِ الْفَلَقْ قُلْ عَلْبَابِ الْنَّاسِ at bedtime, Ayatul Kursi, the last two ayahs of Surah Al-Baqarah, Surah Al-Mulk, all these surahs are very important and these are the instructions given to us by the Prophet Muhammad the big question I have for you is if you don't do it right now when you're alive when are you gonna do it after you pass and you go in the grave it's too late it's not gonna benefit you then start doing it right now make time make 10 to 15 minutes every single day before bedtime and read all these surahs one more important thing one more important thing when you lay down to go to sleep make sure you have wudu make sure you have wudu and read all these surahs and ayahs and sleep with La ilaha illallah.